How you doing? This is Keith Malloy. Recently we went down to Tahiti to film the last segment of the body surf movie we're working on. The movie's called Come Hell or High Water. Here's some photos of the trip. I hope you enjoy them. For me, one of the best parts about body surfing is the, the visuals you get underwater. Um, it's it's kind of like a dreamy dream state under there and uh, this photo kind of shows that. To me, Tahiti is the most beautiful place in the world. Um, the mountains, the ocean, everything about it's incredible. Mark Cunningham is the most renowned body surfer in the world. And this photo kind of explains it. And he stays out of the water and out of the white water more than anyone I've ever seen body surfing. Here's Dave Holmesy shooting a 16 mil bull x underwater he got some incredible imagery on this trip it was beautiful here's a shot of one of the guys dolphining under the wave we all were doing this on a certain day and, and um, seriously we, no one wanted to come in we had such a good time here's mike stewart getting a great ride his control and big waves body surfing was incredible and um he had many rides like this. This wave at Chopu is um, is something that Mike's been talking about for years. He's wanted to go down there and get get some good Chopu surf. And actually, he's one of the only people that I'd seen body surf Chopu before we went down on this trip. This is Durdum. He hit the bottom and got cut up pretty good. The Tahitians lime the cuts to kill the fire coral. It just happens to be one of the most painful things you could probably do to yourself. This was a young Tahitian guy. He's probably about 14 years old. Um, really got stoked on body surfing while we were there and was and was um, charging, getting some great rides. Here's Mike Stewart shooting his 16 mil bumblebee cam underwater. Um, he got some amazing angles with that little camera. Can't wait to see the film shot from that. One of the main reasons I wanted to do this body surf film is to capture the underwater imagery. To me, it's kind of the most amazing imagery I've ever seen, and uh, I've wanted to film it and document it since I was a kid.